Now, uh, this is going to be a little bit unconventional because, uh, yes, that's, uh, it was a terrible pun that I didn't know I made. Uh, but because one of our guys was working his butt off on the AV staff, uh, he didn't get to do his panel, uh, the comedy panel yesterday. So I agreed as a lighthearted end to this all, the, the beginning to the end, I suppose, as sad as that is, uh, to let him come up and, uh, you know, do a set. I hope you guys don't mind. Come on up, John. Yeah! Every free Northwest, are you ready to watch the panels you missed on YouTube? Are you ready to review and post all the pictures you took? Yeah. Are you ready to pay nothing for next year's con? Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> Have fun though? Yeah. It was all right, right? Hey, first I'd like to give a quick shout out to the crew at the 7-Eleven. They, uh, they supplied enough hot dogs, chips, and pop for a brony arnie to march up and down a hill for three straight days. We could have taken Rome with that kind of energy, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it broke. It didn't get broken into or anything. <clears throat> no, seriously, I think I sweated off all my brony con weight, you know, put on some chub over there in New York. Now, I, I mean, I, I honestly enjoyed this con a little bit more than I enjoyed BronyCon, which, uh, to be perfectly honest, I mean, I was staff here, which kind of means that I was, uh, no, it kind of means I lost my place because I wrote this an hour ago. <laughs> you probably saw me running around looking like I just got in a super soaker fight. That was the end of the joke. I, I actually literally, um, my, the, the green concerts that they handed out, I got it soaked, it dried up with the sweat on it, and I got soaked again with sweat in the same day. Yeah. But a nice cool breeze with Mount Rainier as a visage was nice, and, was nice enough to dry it off for me a third time. And no, I'm not wearing it underneath this shirt. I didn't get to fulfill my, uh, my dream of having a beer with Tavis St. Germain, though. I, I really feel like her and I could have had a lot to talk about. Her... Uh, egg-born alien from the, the, from the planet Gronkowski. And me, a Yeti, who was a master of the five deadly magics. I probably just would have freaked out and be like, Pony is cool, I got big feet, bye. <laughs> no, I, I'm, but it, the coolest thing that happened, it did happen at BronyCon. I actually did get to meet John Delancey. Just real quickly, yeah. It was, it was just a serendipitous event where I... Uh, I, I had to just pee like a racehorse, and I just bolted to the nearest bathroom. And I get there, I'm relieving myself. I look over and just, I don't even notice it, but he's just standing right there. Holy crap. <laughs> so it's true. If P, then Q. <laughs> okay, before I go any further, so I can get a, a kind of a tone for, for the audience here. Um, Okay, I have to ask, who here thinks Applejack is best pony? All right, all right, we got a good crowd. Who here is wrong? You can't be both. It always seems a bit odd to me that, you know, people rank their favorite pony by the ones they think would be the best friends with or they'd want to hang out with the most. My rating scale is literally just who I think I'd have the funniest sitcom with. And my, mine is Fluttershy. It has to be Fluttershy, yeah. Does somebody just boo Fluttershy in a sitcom? Mike the Mike has every right in the world to boo anything he wants. I, I have no retort to that. No, uh, I mean, yeah, Dash would be cool to live with. Uh, Twilight I get along with too well. Pinkie Pie doesn't sleep and may in fact kill me. But. I mean, like, we'd have a cool, fashionable hip loft that'd be a cross between that and an actually funny episode of My Gym Partner's a Monkey. And, and I think we would have a really good dynamic going on because I've I'm, I'm kind of got a boisterous, outgoing, but very, you know, kind of calm, understanding personality. So, uh, you know, we'd have 
wacky scenes like, Fluttershy, where's my coconut juice? I have a rugby game in 20 minutes. Oh, um, I gave it to that raccoon outside. He looked a little thirsty. That same raccoon that's been digging through the trash. Oh, Fluttershy, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Let's go for ice cream. Uh, okay. <laughs> Seriously though, you gotta pay me back for that juice. I need that stuff. <laughs> no. Uh, but you know, the, the, the best episode would be for sweeps though, where we go to the zoo and she lets all the animals out. I wrestle a gorilla and we go to the fair for funnel cakes. <laughs> no, I, I think we all know who the best pony to live with though would be, right? Yeah. Dashy. No, she's just a little box, and then just, just comes home. This is the rainbow. She's like, can you buy the uniforms? I love you, Daddy. I'm good flips. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. My little ponies. They're neither mine nor they ponies, but full-grown horses. Discuss. <laughs> oh, jeez. In a box. With a fox? Would she eat green eggs and ham? Would she eat them, Sam I am? No. Oh, I need a few hours to calm down. I should wait through half the registration line. Yeah, I work here too. <laughs> oh, geez. Anyone here fans of uh, G1 or G2 at all? Yeah. I, I mean, I honestly kind of grew up with it. It was, I was too old for it to be new. So what they would do is they alternate between the two shows every other week. So every other week I'd get a, a show about simian, like a theorist steampunk inventors called Gizmunks who captured innocent animals and experimented on them in cages. Actual G1 episode called The Great Rainbow Caper. And G2 where they like get rained on in picnics and frogs get injured. <laughs> so... You know, the, the logical, sane, healthy mind thinks, oh, these are just separate shows. The G2, they're trying to appeal to the, you know, the theoretical average young girl, the 90210, 1992 circa, and G1's just fantasy, but we are not healthy-minded individuals, are we? <laughs> we engage in unhealthy overanalysis and reckless extrapolations. <laughs> so let me get, let's only lay it down for you. 1984, the pilot. Megan, the first human in the show. There are three humans that appear in almost every episode in G1. She crosses into the pony world, breaking a rift between our world and theirs, riding Firefly through the portal rift. Our worlds combine. The ponies live out in the middle of nowhere in a manor in pony land with perils all about, wild animals everywhere. Soon they discover human civilization and they become apprehensive. They want to grow. They want to succeed. A great war happens, lasting many generations. They take over the human civilization, become the dominant species of both worlds where homo sapiens once were. And they live in the buildings. They sit in the chairs. They drive the cars. And the war, if you're wondering... Two words, baby ponies. <laughs> it's, it's the in-between. Fallout Equestria is actually a prequel to My Little Pony. Fun story. <laughs> I'm, it's out there now. All right, so I think that's a fun introduction for a little game the Animaniacs taught us. I'm gonna, let's play the fan fiction version of Good Idea, Bad Idea. Good Idea, Pinkie Pie throws up streamers and balloons for a party. Bad Idea, Pinkie Pie throws up for a party. Good Idea, Characters fallen in love over intricate and well laid out plot. Bad idea. Characters fall in love due to intricate and well laid out plot. <laughs> Good idea. Humans in Equestria. Awesome idea. Ponies on Earth. <laughs> Good idea. Commissioning art and music when your fanfic gets published. Bad idea. Commissioning a DDoS when it gets rejected. 
Good idea. A crossover with fantasy anime. Bad idea. Crossover with harem anime. <laughs> Good idea. Celestia introduces Luna and how to live normally in Equestria. Bad idea. Luna shows Celestia how to adapt to live on the moon. Good idea. Adapting scenes and lines directly from the show. Bad idea. Adapting scenes and lines directly from YouTube audio transcription. <laughs> you know, is it me or do those, actual, those transcriptions actually get a little like political? They, like, they always veer off in that direction, you know? That was the best Grand Galloping Gala ever. Pardon me, princess, but the gala was just awful. <laughs> awful. Cal uh, Twilight, the gala is always a Rwandan rebels disseminate my insipid social order for the entrenched hegemony of Juicebox Hitler sh shoe socks. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time and patience. And now let us conclude Everfree Northwest 2012. <laughs> Thank you guys for, you know, putting up with that, I guess. <laughs> I, I know that some people out there probably aren't as happy about, or may, might not be happy with it, but I, I figure this is my event and I can choose to exercise my authority unilaterally at least once. Uh, anyway, we have, the, we have Jordan, or otherwise known as Going Once, up here, who wants to announce the results of the charity auction. Phillies and General Colts, I am going once, and I have the on my person the total for the charity auction. We, as a community, managed to raise for the Seattle Children's Hospital Greatest Needs Fund the sum of thirteen thousand five hundred thirty-four dollars. <laughs> Go ahead and give yourselves a standing ovation, please. There are several ponies I would like to thank. First off, absolutely. Lee, Peter, well, Peter's gone, but Lee, and Michelle, Claire, and, Ma and Maddie, of course, they, all of them helped immensely in the auction, especially the hug that Michelle and Peter and Lee sold, which went for $105, I believe it was, 110 yes, it did close, it did close at 110 also, the gentleman who donated the Derpy, the one that everyone has been talking about, the Derpy. Please stand, sir. Equally important, and sitting right next to him, is the man who paid $660 for said derby, only to give it back to the man who originally donated it. Please stand. <laughs> Thank you. 
lastly, in the audience, I know because I escorted him in here, is the gentleman who purchased the commissioned print for the sum of 2,000 bits. Please, if he could stand up as well. And of course, Andrea, who commissioned it in the first place. Thank you so much. <laughs> Phillies and General Colts, this is what the element of generosity looks like. And if any or all of these ponies end up manifesting Rarity's cutie mark tonight, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, speaking of that, the, those two, and uh, considering I believe what, uh, and one, uh, because, and considering I believe one of them is very fluttershy, uh, has a friend who wants to, who's coming up to help talk for him. So could you guys come up? They have something to. They have something that needs to be presented. When I first saw the act of generosity that this man did, I was just speechless. Absolutely speechless. I I didn't know what to do. Just him walking up and. Giving this man back his derpy was just, I, I didn't have words, but what most don't know is how precious that derpy was to this man. Before um, the auction, when they were standing in line, he was standing next to him and he was asking him, are you going to auction the derpy? He said, no, I'm not going to auction this derpy. It's worth too much to me. And when his suit didn't sell an auction, he put it up for auction last second, and he outbid everyone, everyone, to buy that man's derpy, to get it back to him, because he knew how important it was. And he wants to make sure that everyone knows that just because his act of generosity was, was, is, was, is what probably you get the most attention for, was giving this man back his derpy, but he wants everyone to know that this man, Travis, giving up his prized possession, his most precious possession for auction, is even greater of an act than he could ever ask for. Money is just, money's worth nothing. That derpy, that derpy is worth everything. It's so, it's so special to have something so close to you. Like, so I couldn't, I couldn't just let him walk away. So I managed to pull a few strings with some connections. And I got a last minute printed by the Traveling Pony Museum, a sign by every VA um, picture of both of them holding the derpy. And I want to give it to this man, Jason, personally. <laughs> Now, do, do either of you have anything that you would like to say to the entire Brony community? Because you, both of you, are what us as a community, we strive to see, we strive for. What we as a community should respect utterly, each and every one of us. Would either of you have anything you would like to say to anyone? I would just like to say that uh, anybody out, any one of you out there can perform a generous act. I mean, we have all these charitable options out there. There's Andrea Libman's uh, Ride Against Cancer. There's Tara Strong with uh, raising money for Kiki, who, you know, isn't actually doing the best at, at this time. And uh, for those of you that, that can't donate money, you can broadcast that to people who can, or you could even uh, follow Lito Carr on Twitter, who I believe has uh, pledged to donate money each time for each increment of a, a thousand followers. I, if, am I correct, Lee? Absolutely. So there, there's plenty of ways to help out even if you don't have money. 
So, I mean, there's the Seattle Children's Donation Box just right down in the con ops, right there at the opening. So if you feel like giving, please give. Thank you. One of the things I've always been the most proud of uh, about the Brony community is the charity and the charitable acts that we've done. I've always followed all the online auctions and the online charity battles and donation drives, and that's always been the most important and meaningful thing about being a Brony for me. And Everfree Northwest has only cemented that in me, especially, not just, but especially the charity auction and everything that happened there. The $110 hug, the $30 espresso shot, and above all else, the generosity of this amazing man right here. It left me speechless and I honestly still don't even have words for it. And, you know, this is what I was saying when I, when I opened this. Uh, bringing Equestria to Earth, and I think it has. Um, I'm going to follow that very, you know, very somber note with a, with a rather, with something that might be a little bit more fun. Uh, <laughs> or funny. There's a, uh, we got the results of the best pony vote in. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so going from top to bottom, some of the staff decided to add in their, their favorites, you know, going up the, going up the list. Uh, with three votes, Tom. <laughs> with 13 votes, uh, final scra vinyl scratch. With 25 votes, uh, Derpy. The runner-up with 39 votes, Wuna. <laughs> and very specifically. And of course, we, we do these ones below because obviously the, pre the predictable answer will happen in the, la in the top three. With 41 votes, Twilight. With 42 votes, Fluttershy. And considering they barely all edged each other, they, 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 she barely edged, edged everyone else out, a Rainbow Dash with 44. And I've been asked very briefly, this came up very, very, very late, uh, the California Brony Group, I believe, is that you guys back there? Am I correct? Uh, if they, could, they wanted to come up and see if anyone, they have their gigantic flag, uh, I believe it's Fluttershy and the Bear? Uh, see if, any, if there are any California Bronies that are not with them in here and wanted to sign, then uh, come on up and they've got some Sharpies to do so.
them. I was asked 
I wanted to honor that. If you'll uh, bear with us for a little bit longer, uh, I think the VAs will be up soon to give a few to give a few words. But uh, we have one member of staff that wanted to that wanted to uh, give something back. Keegan, where are you? Yeah, come on. Hey guys out there. Uh, now one of, the, one of the greatest things about a convention like this and how smooth it's been going for all the guests is uh, yeah, uh, one hardly stops to think exactly what type of dedication it takes to make sure everything goes smoothly, everything goes off without a hitch, everything pretty much, uh, pretty much flows and uh, everyone has fun. So uh, I was, uh, can I go ahead and get uh, all the board members up here? right now. Give him a hand right now. This is all of us. This is all of us? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. Oh, where's that? That's it. What? Where's that? That's it. Come back here. Keep us here. Rory, you want to come back? All right. We have one more board member coming through. So yeah, we uh, this isn't the entire board. We have a couple of them, of course, making sure that the the con stays awesome and uh, you know everything's wrapped up. So uh, you know, unfortunately, not all the board could be here today. But uh, what I really wanted to go ahead and bring to light is the uh, the type of dedication and the you know the sleepless nights that this team has put into making this convention one of the best that that pretty much any pony's ever ever been you know ever been to so uh, one more round of applause for him so all right so so to capitalize on their sleep is on the effort that they have put into Everfree Northwest, I have a gift to present to the board of directors of Everfree Northwest. Be right back. Right here, right here. We have a staff t-shirt signed by our VIPs, the entire voice cast, the entire, almost the entirety of Pony Stock. We want to go ahead and present this as a gift to the board of directors. Woo! Round of applause, the entire voice cast. So we should probably get that framed as soon as possible. All right, and one more thing, one more item. We're going to frame this and uh, put it up in the next, whenever we, for the next, for the next conventions and forever. So, thank you. One more item. The, apparently, the, you know, the musicians felt that, you know, a t-shirt wasn't enough, so they went ahead and threw together a small program guide. Signed by, of course, Michelle Krieber. She was part of the, you know, part of the musicians. And the entirety, Alex S., Silverhound, everyone else, I'd like to go ahead and present this to the board as well. Round of applause, please. This is the team that made it happen.
anyway, uh, after that horrifyingly sappy moment, uh, <laughs> the, uh, we have, we wanted to give, we've given just about everything we can to make sure that this is the best event we can possibly be. And I'd like to turn it over to uh, Mark Harian here to say a few words. How's it going, Phyllis and Jenna Colts? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mark Harian, and I'm the president of our board of directors. And I just want to tell you that this has been a truly magical weekend. As Royal eloquently put it, Equestria is here right now. You guys, all of you, have made this happen. I look out on all of your faces, and I know I don't know most of you. I know some of you. Yeah. <laughs> But what I do know is that you all have a story to tell, an incredible story to tell about how you came to this event and more importantly came to this community. This television show, and more importantly, the community that sprung up around it, has not only changed lives, but it has also saved lives as well. And I feel tremendously privileged and humbled to be a part of it and to be a part of this event. We, this, this effort has become all-consuming, all-involving, and it has not been easy. There have been sleepless nights. There's been blood, sweat, and tears. All three, I assure you. <laughs> Some more than others, hopefully. But when I see your smiling faces, I know that it's paid off. And while I can't thank each and every one of you, I can sure as hell try. So thank you so much. All of you who came to Everfree Northwest. So, uh, Thank you so much. Now that I've gotten you out of your seats, oh, well, you're sitting down again. You can stand up again, okay. Well, I want to direct your attention out that window there. At that tremendous white campus right down there. I am pleased to announce that that will be our home next year, Forever Free Northwest 2013. So, Phillies and Gentle Colts, please save the date, July 5th, 6th, and 7th, 2013, at the SeaTac Airport Hilton Conference Center. Um, hi, everybody. So, for those who don't know me, I am Jared Watson, or Galea Sarhoff. I am head of staff. So I want to, as basically being head of staff for the last six months, I want to thank every staff member I have hired. You have done an awesome job. A lot of you have worked countless hours to make this con as awesome as it can be. Because, I mean, I came into this understaffed, and I was hoping for the best, and you guys owned it. So thank you for that. I also want to thank the sponsors for helping out with that. But for myself, I tip my hat at you. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Roy, uh, or Roy G. Biv, or Steve, however you know me. Um, we've all been working on this for almost a year now. Got ideas started from a little meetup group. Back when the show was first starting, I was like only three meetup groups, and look at us now. And I, I just want a chance to say thanks to the board and the staff and all the attendees just for coming and making this a great weekend. We hope we see you again next year, all right? Yeah. 
So a few of the VAs that are still here, <laughs> because many of them had to catch flights, as you might have noticed if you were in the, uh, the Finding Your Voice panel. Uh, and they, we asked them if they wanted to say a few words. And we said no. <laughs> no, come on up. Maddie Peters, Michelle Krieber, and Lee Tokar. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say, on behalf of all of us voice actors, we could never have anticipated the incredible fans that you are. You are absolutely amazing. And it has been my pleasure to talk to you this weekend and meet you one-on-one -on -one and hear your stories. And it's just wonderful. So thank you so much for being here and for supporting us. And we love you. You're amazing. Uh, thank you. Um, also have to thank the incredible staff and the board of directors for making everything happen for us. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to mention again just um, how incredible it was that all of us together supported the community in such a big way, over $13,000 to Seattle Children's Hospital. And it's all because of you. So thank you so much. You have the biggest hearts. And, uh, and we love you, and we love being here. Thank you. I couldn't have said it any better. Like, you guys are just the best fans that any fandom or show or anything could ever hope for. So thank you so much for being awesome. Yeah, as Andrea said, this just came out of the blue, this whole fandom, and we would have never expected it, but it is the best surprise we could have possibly gotten, uh, have got, be given. <laughs> and um, all, of you, all of you are just so wonderful, and so individual, and so unique, that it just brings smiles to all the VA's faces, and to know that you guys love the show that we are a part of so much that just it makes every single minute of my day just that much greater. Thank you. And there's absolutely no physical human way to top what has just been articulated here. I would love to, I'd love to, my own, from my personal self, I'd like to thank you all again. Um, I'd also like to say how much I enjoyed being part of the opening ceremonies and, and, um, and if it's possible, I would like to know if it's okay if I could be invited back again next year. I'd like to help out with the opening ceremonies then too. I'd love Lee? to be a keynote speaker anytime. No, I, I, you can be our keynote speaker anytime. We're going to put you in a staff shirt if you, if you keep... Actually, they already gave me one. It's downstairs. It's, it's over, but it's draped over. You just, but I'd, lo I'd love to wear it. I'd, I'd come back proudly, and I know we'd all love to come back every year. And I think we're forgetting that there's another special day today. I guess today, well, actually, it's, it's a couple days ago, was the birthday of Everfree Northwest. So happy first birthday, Everfree Northwest. And speaking of the generosity, since that announcement was made that I'm donating a portion of, of, of an equivalent amount of dollars, one-tenth of every thousand, so for every thousand, it's another hundred dollars that goes to charity. My Twitter just jumped up another 150 people. So, so now that's, I, like it's, it's going to be like $400 that I give, and then another thousand, it'll be like $500 I give to something else. So you guys tell me what to give to, and I'll... Voice acting pays pretty good, and I'd like to give something back. So, and I hope it inspires all of you to do that, too. So thank you again from all of us, and we'll see you next year. Sorry, I'm being overcome with emotion.
The, uh, thank you all so much. I, I made the rounds to tell every VA and every, all the singers and everything how much it means to, I think, us, but everyone here that you're willing to come out and be here with us. And I gotta say to you guys, to you guys that are attendees, the, the staff here at the hotel has been amazing. They have done so much for us. And you know what, they, and you know what? They have told us that you guys are the calmest, most wonderful, generous attendees they've ever, you know, they've ever had to deal with. So that's something to be proud of. You should give yourself a little applause. I, I think the line, I think the literal line was that somebody asked the hotel, one of the hotel staff, there's a, a line around the, there's a line around the hotel and no one is rioting or fires are not breaking out. That's a... <laughs> and you, you know what? Like I said, we may, well, like I said before, we may be a long way from Equestria, but I think here we discovered something that maybe it's a little bit closer than we think. And I want you guys to go out and know that, carry that with you, and maybe let the, let the rest of the world see it too. Yeah. Thank you for coming to the Moonrise Ceremony, and this is the end of Never Free Northwest, but it's not going to, Northwest 2012. But it's not going to be the end of this. It's going to live in our hearts until next year. And I would personally glad to see each and every one of you back. Thank you, every pony. Joe Stevens. We're holding on getting the microphone. Oh, we're having an issue here, I think. Having issues with the microphones. We're good? We're good to go. Okay. Microphone. So, 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 oh, we so we're going good. And like we said before, we just got finished watching the closing. Swap the microphones. All right, so I'm Joe watching, Stevens. And I'm Tech Rat. And we just got finished watching the closing ceremonies here at Everfree Northwest 2012. It was a wonderful experience. There were so many Huffs. wonderful Pro things Come on, happening Huffs. here at the closing Pro ceremonies. Huffs. We got to talk about everything that had been going on during the convention. Oh, we're getting Groves left and right here. Groves, guys. So, one last thing, one last thing, one last thing. One last thing. I just don't know what you're wrong. For the. Move out of way. Uh, for polls and uh, and cosplayers, there is a special gift at the back table. Just uh, and that's really all it. You have to go if you're a cosplayer or a spot or poll, young kids. No, Mick. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. But. You'll apologize my, I hope you can uh, forgive my derbiness in this, but uh... Oh, yeah, I suppose. This is the fandom, right? 
I'll talk to you, I'll see you all later, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Jack, Jack, we okay? We're okay, okay. So microphone. Anyway, all right, there was one last message there um, for the closing ceremonies. Apparently, we have some posters available. Posters for, for cosplayers and, cosplayers. and foes. Um, and these are, <clears throat> it's really hard to hear in here right now, and our voices are practically shot. Voice is almost gone, yeah, yes. But if you remember, they had these motivational posters. They had them on display at Comic-Con, um, and they have them available out in the lobby right now. Um, like they had generals. Yeah, we can't talk. We can't talk <laughs> so anyway, a couple of gifts out in the hallway for them. Um, what did you think of the closing ceremonies, Joe? I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I thought there was a lot of emotion going on. Absolutely. There was so break up this party. So emotional. Hey, hey, we have Dusty guys. Please, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee how, you doing? how you doing, you guys? Hi, everybody. Yeah. This was fantastic, wasn't it? This absolutely. was so much fun. Absolutely. So much fun. Oh, incredible. What's the best moment for you guys? Oh, I think by far the part uh, where the derpy doll was uh, bought and given oh, back. That was so that touching. Really, that that yeah. choked me up when I heard it, and that was secondhand. I, second hand. I, wasn't I know. Even here. It was I know, right? I, I was crying. Yeah. 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 I'm manly's brother. I was crying in the back. It's okay yeah. to cry. It's okay, okay to cry. In fact, when you cry, Absolutely. that means you're just more manly. I think. Absolutely. So. You know, when a big guy like this starts crying, something important has just gone down. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. That's one of the most amazing examples of generosity that I've ever seen. It was absolutely. fantastic. It was Unprecedented. Fantastic. And they raised, what, $13,000, I believe, at the charity auction? Yeah, $13,525, to be specific. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And yeah. so, Lee, this is such a fantastic event. Thank you so much for being here. I think that you were really an integral part of this entire convention. I was honored. It's my pleasure, Nance. It's an honor. And I do stand by my what I said. I would love to be a keynote speaker. If you guys want to put, if they want to put me on a five-year contract to come here, but <laughs> I will book out one week every year for five years to come and be a part of this. Yeah, sure. I think I'll hold you to that. I know I'm holding you to that. That's yeah. fine by if me. If you do it, I do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you heard it first right here. Absolutely. Dusty and Lee, we're in for five. Dusty yeah, and Lee. Now we talked about ponies and sitcoms. I think this would be a good sitcom. I think Dusty and Lee. Dusty there and you go. Lee. Yeah. Coming yeah. soon to TBS. There you, go. you guys could be the next odd couple. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll, I'll even let you be snips and I'll be snails. Oh, okay. Richard Cox might not like that, but that's okay. <laughs> he, he's not here. He can't say anything I about know, it. I know, so. Richard. What are you doing at home? Come I on. think he'd be a great voice actor, though, don't you think? I, I absolutely well, think. I, no, I think I, there's he, some potential here. He needs to pursue that career. I, Can we hear it on the live stream? Dusty Cat. Du live stream Dusty Cat, the next voice for the, the Hub Network star. or for any program, uh, really. Yes. There you go. I, I think I might, I might hook up with Lee here for lessons. Right. There you go. Well, there if you go. need some there lessons, go. I got some. All right. And right. me That's and Andrew right. Lippman, we'll show you some, some yeah, tricks. Absolutely. Yeah, indeed. So, so, Mr. Dusty Cat, what was your favorite part of the convention this weekend? My favorite part was Andrew Owen. Yay. <laughs> so simple, absolutely. so impactful. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Lee, how about you? My favorite part was the entirety of the thing, right from the moment I got here till, well, right up till right now. Uh, it's been one... <laughs> Beautiful, fantastic pony ride. <laughs> fantastic pony ride. I love that pony, pony ride. That should be a catchphrase. That should be a catchphrase for the ride. I tell you, it's been great. Everybody's been wonderful. I can't say it enough. This fandom is amazing. There's, there's just they wear it on their sleeve. You know, that's a very rare thing in the world. Let alone to have a concentration of people that have that similar character trait which we are also lacking, sadly. Yeah. You know, someone asked us uh, about uh, what we're doing. Here at Evergreen, you know, they said, "Oh, are you guys bronies? You're here just, you're here just news people, right?" And I said, "No, we are card, we are wristband wearing bronies. Nice. We are wristband wearing bronies. You need a wristband. This man needs a wristband. There we, go. This man, there we, go. we are wristband carrying bronies, and we, 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 we again, we wear. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, hold. All right, here he's got. Here we go. Hold them up. There we go. Wristband wearing bronies." And Wrist you're right. Band wearing bronies. That's right. Yeah, we, that, we, that sounds like the name of a musical number. There Wrist you go. Band wearing bronies. <laughs> Keep going there. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it has been a great time, and I and and you guys have been doing a great job. It, and Dusty, you too. All you guys have been doing a great job. Every single person that's helped out, from Austin to the board of directors, all the way down the line. I've been to this. I think this is my twelfth convention, and without a doubt, this one feels the nicest. It might not have been the biggest, but it certainly so far has been the warmest. 
so much warm. Oh, I'm sorry, Central. Thankfully, not too warm. We no, kind of. That's right. We, we got out of this one without any, uh, you know, damages or yes, too much heat. Yeah, that's right. That's yes, right. No flaming no light bulbs this time. No I don't flyers. Think. No, fires. no, no, yeah, no definitely exactly. Not. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. thank well, anyway, you. Thanks again, you guys. Thank you so yeah, much, thank Lee. Thank you yeah. so much, Lee. Thanks for stopping the by. Pleasure was we hope mine. to see you again very, very soon. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I got to play muscle for this guy, so I'm going to split two. Okay. All right. So let's All go right. ahead and you go, go, you go guide him out safely, sir, and we'll yeah. catch you later, too. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Right. See you later. Goodbye, guys. everypony. Uh, let's go. Let's get all the Everfree Radio crew. Everfree, let's we're gonna in, we're gonna close yeah, it out on, here. Draft, we're clo getting here. ready to close the live on, stream. We might have some more in. things from the previous, but this is gonna be our last live event. Yeah, well, so for our last, for my last strain of my vocal cords, before we the last, go mute. the last of my vocal cords, I think. We're, we're, we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna drop it down as we invite the entire EFR crew. First of all, Mr. Final Draft, Mr. Final. Draft. Here, Thank sir. you. Okay, oh, these got the shades going well, on. I gotta wear the shades. These were given to me by Claire Corlett. I have to wear them. Oh, Those are Claire's glasses. She gave them to me, or she put them on me up at the Cutie Marcus so Theater panel. You can never take them off. No, I can't take them off. Okay. Well, I gotta wear them for now. You know. How's it go? How she say it? Deal with it. You That's know? right. You know. so, Deal so, with yeah, it. Yeah. So, Mr. Final Draft, how was your experience at the convention this weekend? Well, it was just like any other convention. It's crazy. It's chaotic. <laughs> There's a million things happening. You know, what was crazy is I would run into people I've heard of but never met in person. You know, it's just this process of running from here to here to here to here. But you know what? It was actually really a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I got to host some panels I didn't get to expect to host. I got to host the panels I did expect to host in unexpected ways. So... For me personally, it was it was a real success, and I mean I think that uh, you know, you guys, I mean, come on, you guys, we had a blast. Well, not a, you guy, you guy right here. No, you're no, the one, no, 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 you're no, the no, one no. running in that hamster wheel, man, <laughs> no. yeah. all weekend long. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what though, I do want to say that a lot of people know me as the face of EFR. I'm just a face. We need a brain. We need a brain. And look, here's one. Here. Here's the brain. Here's oh, the Mr. brain. Jack, sir, come here. Yeah. Come here. He keeps he keeps his hand. Hang on, hang on. Before he we do this, hang on. Apparently his mic's not working. What? <laughs> this one any better? All right. Anyways. All right. <laughs> no, no, He's the brain. He's the brain. Everybody, this is eight track. He's the brain, and you know he is because he's had shaved just in case surgical implants. <laughs> Certainly, there's something going on over what there. What is going on over there? I have no idea. Okay, yes, it's very good. Job. See, that's why I do. Say, oh, it's I a all group, group massive hug. hug going on over there. You know what? We, here, it's we're gonna ridiculous. We gotta, we gotta pretend to be Joe Stevens and Tech Rapper. Oh, we don't. Okay, I'll, I'm. So you're, <laughs> you're Joe and I'm Tech. I'm Joe Stevens, and we're reporting live on this well, hug you know, going I, on right over here. I, it know, looks like I'm, a, a brony in the middle has reached critical mass and, well, and attracting you know, Joe, every you know, brony Joe? in the immediate vicinity yes, with a gravitational pull. You're not, you're not doing a good impression. If you're going to oh. do a real impression, it's got to be wonderful, 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 oh. wonderful. It's so wonderful that they're there swinging back and forth in this gigantic hug. My concern, however, is though, if we get too many more in there, they may reach critical mass Indeed. and it may supernova. Indeed. So Indeed. I don't know. That that's 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 a concern. We have to make sure to keep it within a certain range. Unreliable so sources tell itself. me that this is due to Scootaloo. <laughs> And possibly Rainbow Dash. Oh, I took the glasses off. They're fogging up. I couldn't see. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, no, guys. Actually, I want to bring in someone else here too, who is working. I'll this back. No, no, stay no, here for I'm a second. Stay. Not going we're, we're, we're you know done. what he's trying we're to done. do? We cannot beat that. You know what he's trying you, to do? You have my job. Take the microphone. Eight track here. <laughs> Eight track here, first of all, is the reason yeah. we have all this awesome equipment. Yeah, he's been you know, he's the, the reason that the yeah, stream, the, the stream over there that's working. Absolutely. He's been the one monitoring it. When the stream goes down, he's the one that fixes it. I mean, literally, he is the technical guru. Yes. And he's Every also he's also the person who keeps me sane because if I ever get a really crazy idea, he tries to talk me out of it. I must be doing a pretty poor job. You're then. doing a terrible job. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> what the hell are we doing here? <laughs> well, but as anyway, long as each of you keeps each other in line, I think it's the most important. You know what? There was so. one person who was Look, it's a moose! Oh! It's a moose! I warned her it'd become a meme. It's LTT Moose, LTT Moose, we love you so much. Uh, this man, uh, once again, integral to the possible the success of our con of Everfree Northwest, integral success. The reason that you saw all those wonderful interviews with Aaron, with Tech Rat, and to Joe Stevens was because of LTT Moose. 100% you're involved. Wonderful. 100%. Wonderful. 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 Let's get everyone wonderful. give a wonderful. 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 Yeah. Ah, it's Michelle Kramer. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful from Apple Bloom. Thank you. Hey, Tony. Thanks for listening. <laughs> That just happened. Oh, that just, just, just jumped in. Silver hand over here. Silver hand. 
Good to see you. Silva, I have a very important yeah. question to ask you, and I think you know That's the answer. Uh, What's that? How many people, uh, or ponies, I should say, uh, have been banging this weekend? Oh my God! Like over at least over at least five hundred, almost a thousand. Like That's to, a be, lot of to banging, be accurate. Sir. That's so, a lot so, of banging, sir. so you would then say, you know, in a general sense, every pony has been banging. Every pony's banging. Every pony's banging. I'm glad to, you know, to make sure. <laughs> you guys don't know. You couldn't, you couldn't hold that with a straight face, could I you? I couldn't. You guys don't know. Sylvan and I have been going back and forth all. Well, I should say I've been harassing him all weekend. I'm like giving him that line like every freaking day. So, thanks for putting up with it, man. Yeah, man. And hey. Michelle's new album, Timeless Songs of Essential. Get it. It's awesome. Tombstone's on here. Tombstone, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's amazing. Tombstone, Mando, Stefan, Daniel. Oh, my God. She has such a beautiful voice. Get it. Yeah, it's a fantastic set of songs. And, and yeah. so Absolutely I, I wonderful. Have, I have one question for you, Silver. There we go. Do you ever turn the swag off? You can't, can you? Um, I had an on and off switch for the swag, but I recently broke it. Yeah. So. Well, you know what? Yeah, the hat and the glasses what? are permanently attached, aren't they? Yeah, like... I try to take it all the way off, but like I can only adjust it's it. It's only like a partial thing. Yeah, we understand. <laughs> we understand. We've been trying to get a hold of you all weekend, man. I'm so yeah. sorry about that. What were your experiences at the con this weekend? What, how was it for you? Man, the, the convention was a blast. It was so energetic. Last night, Alex S. and Odyssey like dredged the whole place they in did. sweat. And the day before, me, uh, Mike the Mike, the Voodoo Pony, man, they smashed. They dominated. It was so awesome. Pony stock was great. You Absolutely. can't be friends because hey. I don't know you. I'm, oh. I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All you got to do is wrap your arm around me. Well, if you don't know them, we should friend. introduce them. Just like that. Speaking, Just like that. Your, speaking of wrapping your arms around something, this is the, we're talking about the $110 hug. This is the man who bought the $110 hug. Hey, how's it going? S Mr. Screwball from Wonderful, Dusty wonderful. Catch. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful news. He, he, he's the person. I have to ask, I have to ask him, was that hug worth $110, sir? Yes. Yes, it was. It made the entire trip just well worth it it was amazing and i should it say really screwball did a great job filtering questions at what three panels i mean just crazy <laughs> take it my question to you screwball is how do you feel about the sound of your own voice apparently you've heard it for the first time this weekend and you weren't too pleased with it <laughs> it sounds really weird it really does screwball of course absolutely hates dusty cat's show and never listens to episodes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where where'd you get this news? Yeah. What oh. is this? Oh, man. Who's spreading these rumors? Oh. You are. Oh. And, and once again, our good friend AC. Oh, I love you guys. I, what an amazing convention this was. I I'm going to another one. I got oh. Uh, can, can, oh yeah. You know what? We need a reaction from you. <laughs> I don't Rooney's know. react to Everfree Northwest. My, my oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. And and a little bit of British. 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 And listen, shout out, shout out to Buck because I know it happened at the same time. Shout out to everybody who performed. I heard that uh, Glaze and Storm Open. I pause it. The British are coming. British. 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 Acoustic brownie. Acoustic brownie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Dude, and everybody gets quiet. Come on, British! Yeah. British, 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 British! Hey, wait, 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 wait! Oh, I thought, scorns. I thought, I thought we were from Equestria. Equestria! Hey! <laughs> How have things been for you guys tonight, and uh, for the whole convention, for that matter? Absolutely right? amazing. Very Everyone has been so supportive. It's been a great, 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 great event. Yeah, it's been absolutely. absolutely. I said great a lot there. And, and I have one question for you. How do you see? I just, I just, how do you magic. see? Magic. Pure <laughs> magic. Yes. Oh. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Ah, my ear. <laughs> Sir, come here. Come here. I like pudding. Doing, an, doing some awesome MC work for the Two Pony Socks on Friday and Saturday night. And Sunday. Just, and Sunday. And rocking the house on all three of them. Mr. Yeah, Mike Microphone, how are you doing, sir? Uh, my voice is shot. I can't feel my legs. And I haven't eaten in 24 hours. We will hold you up, and you have enough for right now. So uh, how was your experience with the convention? Man? Uh, absolutely spectacular. It was an entirely different beast from BronyCon, and I could not have asked for a better crowd, a better show, a better venue. Everything was spectacular. I totally agree. It was an absolutely rocking set those two nights, man. And you did an amazing, amazing job, both both with your set and just pulling everything together. Awesome, dude. Give me a bro hook, man. That was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, who else we got hanging around here? 
We got what? It's getting fixed. My dress is getting fixed right now. We need Nash to get over here. Yes, we do. Nash! Nash. Nash. Come on, Nash. Nash. Heat wave, come here. Heat wave, come here. Whoever gets here first. Oh, we got both at the same time. Heat wave, our cameraman for our roving camera. And Nash, another person who was keeping the live stream going, making sure everything got up there smoothly. How did everything go for you this weekend, Nash? I've basically been sitting in one spot for three days. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. By our powers combined, we are roving. Well, Nash, thank you very much for everything that you did behind that. Sitting in that chair for three days. We know that chair is a part of you now, but I'm sure it was totally worth it's it. It's never coming out. It's never coming out. There's, there's a little piece stuck to the back behind you that we can't show you on camera. And Heat Wave, again, our roving camera guy who was there with us for all the awesome interviews that we had this weekend, for all the roving camera work. We were talking to the Bronies out, out on the convention floor. You did an awesome job, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Who else we got? Anybody else coming out? We got oh, another. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> You want to say something? I'm trying, but it's stuck. Okay, Hold something. On. No, but seriously, I am going once. I was the auctioneer. I the sheer amount of amazing generosity that you people have given is just beyond indescribable. Thirteen thousand five hundred twenty-five. Just these numbers are insane. I cannot imagine how amazing you ponies are. Thank you so much. The Seattle Children's Hospital Greatest Needs Fund is going to receive a check with more digits on it than people can have possibly imagined going into this. Thank you every pony so much. Absolutely. That was an amazing example of generosity. Oh yeah, Cowboy Dave as well. Yeah, back here, sir. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, man, so doing, tiring. Oh, tired. Oh, you bet. I've never been to a convention before. This is my first time at a convention, and it is an absolute blast. I, I'll remember this for the rest of my life. I assume this isn't going to be your last convention either, correct? Oh, heck no. I'm going to attend every convention I can get to, as money will allow. And if I can get there with the rest of the EFR crew, all the better. All, all the, the EFR better. crew. All the hey, Anybody else? Come on in. Come on in. Let's yeah, just get everybody here. in here. Let's just all get right. everybody. All right. Come on over here. Vince, come here. Come here. Good friend of mine yeah. from Reading Rain Boom, if you watch it on every radio, Vigilant Watch, ladies and gentlemen. The man with the Rainbow Dash Express Cessna. All right, how, what do you think of the convention this weekend, sir? First convention ever, greatest convention ever, and I'm coming back next year and I'm bringing the plane next time. Fantastic. He's bringing the plane. Fantastic. Oh, wait, what, you want One more thing I want to say. When I yeah. said the entire EFR staff, I meant <laughs> one trick as well. Crescendo. One trick. Big shout out to one trick and crescendo. And crescendo. Big shout out to one trick. Crescendo rocking the house at Buck. This weekend as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Big shout out to Buck. Big yeah, shout out to Buck. Buck. Yeah, who's, who's going on the other stream? No, you cannot step in. <laughs> Get in here, sir. Get in here, sir. Please do. Please do. All right. Oh, okay. the, the weight of people on other people's shoulders is pulling us all down to the ground right now. We're going to pull it back so we can get more people. So pull it back so we can get more people. Yeah. Pull it back so we can get more people. Come back here. Come back here. This, How, convention, this convention was the single most amazing moment in my entire life. Getting those two on stage and on live and making sure that they were in the closing ceremonies and everyone in the entire community heard what they had to say and get it, giving them that gift. That was, just, that was phenomenal. Was so and, and, and whose idea was that to, to do such an incredibly generous thing for them? I, I, when I saw that, I just... Just him stepping away and asking nothing in return just wasn't enough. That, that deserves an epic growth there, sir. That was an unbelievably kind thing for you to do. Come here, man. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Wow. So. We got those wild testy It fills my heart with sunshine all the while. Yeah, you know what? I think we need to end this song, sir. We kind of end it with a song. End it with a song. So, so I, 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 we, we're out of tune with the piano, but I think yeah. we actually need to close it out with getting everyone in front of the camera. Everybody come And getting here. final everyone. draft. Final draft. I think you need to close us out here for the final yes. of, uh, we're going to close yeah, it out are, at Everfree are, Northwest. All right, apparently I'm closing it out for Everfree Northwest. So first I want to give a huge shout out to everybody at Everfree Radio who was not able to make it here. By the way, hi, Alex. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Everybody who is uh, not able to make it here, Sockware. Uh, let's see who else was in here. <laughs> Uh, Sockware, Moonlight, um, Oatmeal, uh, I'm I'm, guys, you're going to get mad at me. Fall silently in the IRC. <laughs> Let's see who else is not here. Osaka Jack, who's a yeah, regular of the show. I, yeah. The IRC mods have been doing an amazing job. I'm trying to think of other people who didn't make it, but, you know, oh, Rob Bob. Poor Rob Bob. Oh, uh, yeah, we definitely needed Rob Bob. Rob Bob, yeah. you know what? You're here in spirit, man, but you're at college, and that's what's important. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Um, so many amazing people. Noah King. Yes. I mean, just Kramer. all sorts of. Ah, Michelle Kramer. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle Kramer. You know what she's doing? She's trolling us. Yeah. yeah don't worry about it. <laughs> Video bomber. I think, I think you need to lead us in the song. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. We want <laughs> all right. There you go, Michelle. Oh, God. Yeah, oh. yeah, we can. We can. Okay, so. And especially one trick. I know you wanted to make it and you couldn't. So she's our production director. And Crescent. Well, Crescent was at Buck. She got oh, yeah. She's that bug. Come on. Come on. She to come. Yes, she was there with Sketchy, but anyway, one trick. We're sorry you couldn't make it, but, you know, here we are for you, for now at least. I love you, one trick. There you go. Oh. So, I think we have to close this out. I think you know what the, wor the words to say to do that, sir. Well, before we bust into song or something, I have to say good night and good buck. Yes. Yeah. Bye, Pony. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thank you again. Yeah. Reporting from Ever from Northwest. We are and I've been asked. Thanks for I've watching, been asked. Everybody. This for is for viral. Everybody, come on, every pony, smile, smile, smile. Fill my heart up with sunshine, sunshine. All I really need is a smile, smile, smile from these happy friends of mine. Smile, smile, smile. All I really need is a smile, smile, smile from these happy friends of mine. Come on, every pony, smile, smile, smile. Fill my heart up with sunshine, sunshine. All I really need is a smile, smile, smile from these happy friends of mine. at Camelot Gardens in about a month and a half and uh, look to our YouTube channel for uh, for postings of all the content. And for now, so long. Good night, take a buck. Good night, everybody.